We've all heard how valuable it can be to have a main in Apex, a legend that is our go-to every time we're loading into a match that we know we can perform on. But with each legend having different abilities, sizes, and playstyles, finding the best legend for your playstyle can be kind of tough. What's going on guys, my name is Valued, and by the end of this video, you will know what legends you should really be playing. So before we get into breaking down Apex's roster, you've got to have a good understanding of what kind of a player you are. It's important that you're honest with yourself and analyze your gameplay to determine how you would like to play the game. Are you an aggressive player always looking to third party or get involved with a nearby fight? Or are you a passive player putting a focus on finding a safe drop, looting up and avoiding fights where you can? Or maybe you're more of a tactical player opting for safer early games, putting priority on ring rotations, but still taking fights where they're necessary. Regardless of the way you approach the game, Apex has a ton of legend options that you can choose from to match your playstyle. Most legends can play multiple styles, but let's go over the picks that bring you the most value and help you find that perfect match. Remember though guys, this is not a tier list, and since every legend is totally viable right now, let's forget about who's strong for now and focus on finding your perfect legend. So since you're always pushing me when I'm trying to have a clean fight with another team, let's start with you, the aggressive player. If you're always looking to get involved on the map, letting your movement be dictated more by finding kills than anything else, then I've got some legends for you. Picks like Octane and Wraith can play in the face of their enemies with confidence that they can get out of almost any situation. With Wraith's phase and Octane's stim, they can book it to safety and can also pursue fleeing teams with ease. Combine this with their ultimates, both giving them and their squad a ton of mobility, and they can run teams down with ease. So if you find yourself looking for mobility, you cannot go wrong with these two options, with Octane being the fastest legend in the game and Wraith bringing a bit more utility. Speaking of mobility, Bangalore and Pathfinder also fall into this aggressive archetype. Bangalore's passive, double time, and her smokes allow her to get up close and personal in fights and then quickly duck away when she starts getting shot at. While her ultimate doesn't give her speed, it can be used to push enemies off of high ground or to cut off escape routes, so her entire kit screams aggression. While the friendly robot man may not seem like he has the killer instinct, Pathfinder's grapple gives him insane mobility, and he can reposition himself as fast as any legend. Add on his ultimate and Path can gain high ground really fast and has some of the most interesting angles that he can take to find a fight with enemies. If you've seen good Pathfinders, you know how wild they can truly get, slinging themselves around with their grapple. This is an often slept on ability and it can make one of the most aggressive picks in the game. Before we move on to the rest of the picks, I want to remind you guys there's only two weeks left to get your spot in Imperial Hal's one of a kind boot camp. So Hal, let them know what to expect. Hey, what's up everyone? I'm Imperial Hal, I'm a top pro for Apex Legends and welcome to my brand new Apex class. This class goes over everything you need to improve across every aspect of Apex Legends. How to move, shoot, and think like me. By the end of this class, you're going to feel more confident when you play. And you'll learn everything you need to win more games. You're going to be the one carrying your friends. I can't wait to meet you guys and help you reach your full potential in Apex. See you soon. Alrighty, thank you, Hal. So, getting back into the picks, if you're looking for a bit more methodical approach to your aggression, picks like Horizon, Revenant, and even Bloodhound can be great. While each of these options can play really aggressively, they tend to be played best when they get their abilities involved before taking a fight. Horizon's grab lift is what makes a lot of players fall in love with her, allowing quick access to high ground and having some cool interactions to outplay your opponents. While she can absolutely just push enemies with this ability, where she really shines is when she can use it to find a good angle for a fight. If she can manage to catch enemies by surprise with her black hole, she can take out literally an entire team in no time. Similar to Horizon, Revenant wants a lot of setup before a fight with his abilities. His death totem is best used as an entry tool into a fight, as you really don't want it anywhere the enemies could use it themselves or camp it. 
We've all seen the Revtane combo, and the reason this is so strong is because Octane's pad lets you get instant use out of the totem while still letting you place it in a safe position. While he takes more setup than other legends, if you often play in comms with your friends, Revenant can give you free life to soften up their shields before you take a full fight. As for Bloodhound, they can be a really aggressive pick, constantly scanning and tracking, then popping their ultimate to chase enemies down. This being said, one of their biggest strengths is to use their scan to confirm enemy locations for picks like Horizon and Revenant. By showing everyone exactly where enemies are, they open up their entire team's playstyle while still having Beast of the Hunt to become a dangerous predator themselves. This can be one of the easier picks to get a lot of value out of with the low scan cooldown and how much value it can bring, so don't sleep on the Hound. Alright guys, so maybe you like to take the game a lot slower, focusing on getting looted and staying safe until you're in the later stages of the game. No problem. This is a totally viable way to play the game, as getting in those early game scraps can be stressful. Well, let's get into some of the picks you should consider maining if you want to find success as a passive player. First up, let's talk about the three picks that embody this playstyle, Caustic, Watson, and Rampart. Each of these picks thrive in the later stages of the game and really want to be set up and in position before taking any fights. Every one of these picks prefers enemies to push them, while they soften them up from range and lure enemies into their trap, barrier, and minigun infested power position. Caustic has his traps to block doors and the gas from them and his ultimate can deal some serious damage if enemies hang out too long. Not to mention, he can see through the gas while it makes it really tough for enemies to see him. Watson's fences make it really tough for enemies to get into buildings that she's locked down, and her ultimate keeps those pesky nades out while also topping off your shields. She's probably the toughest to learn out of these three, as her pick rate clearly suggests, but all the more rewarding, right? And for Rampart, the buff to carry her minigun around has made her a bit more mobile, but she still wants to be surrounded by her barriers, repelling enemies with her raw damage. Unlike Caustic or Watson, Rampart puts a focus on being able to hit shots and laser enemies. Where those two have traps or overtime damage and healing, Rampart has her, her barriers, and a blaze of bullets. So, if you're looking for a defense-heavy legend that feels more aggressive, give Rampart a shot. Also great passive picks and two that actually work really well together, we have Gibraltar and Lifeline. These legends are the king and queen of keeping their teammates alive, with Gibby having his bubble to prevent incoming damage and Lifeline her bot to heal it up. While Gibby can honestly fit into any squad, he really shines when popping his bubble, pulling up his gun shield, and preparing for an enemy push. When his tactical is up, he has so much power. And if you love playing shotties and just stiff arming enemies trying to push you, you'll love how he plays. He is by far the tankiest legend in the game between his fortified passive and his shield. So if you want to be up close and personal and be the last line of defense for your squad, give the big guy a go. As for Lifeline, she is great for players that are good at staying safe and support their team. Where she really shines is by not going down and always having a bot ready to deploy on her down teammates. The ability to remotely res players can be really powerful, and it puts a timer on enemies to finish you off before you just pick everybody back up. To add on to this, she also has her care package to get your squad some better armor and items early, mid, and late game. If you play safe and like being the combat medic, no one will be upset to see you lock in lifeline. Now, let's talk about the more tactical picks for you players that are professors of ring movement and rotations. If you love making those early rotates and bullying your way into a good ring position, then we've got legends that we've got to talk about. These are picks that are not afraid to take a fight, but thrive when they're playing the map quickly and intelligently and taking fights from advantageous positions. Valkyrie Crypto and Loba are all very methodical in how they want to move around the map, with Valk being a little bit of an exception. While the Winged Avenger can just hook up to her squad and take off to another POI, where she really shines is when making calculated rotations with her ultimate. If you're good at predicting rain movement, she can get her squad into awesome positions faster than any other legend. While aggressive players should look to play Octane, players who are more focused on map movement should honestly give Valk a go. 
Something is really satisfying about rotating the map this fast, especially when you're always one step ahead of the rest of the lobby. As for Crypto, he tends to like to lead with his drone, letting it do the scouting without him having to be in harm's way. But where he really shines is after he gains this information. Using your drone to scout out a new POI, finding a team waiting inside, and then coordinating a big EMP push feels incredible. Having the ability to scout with your drone and then turn it into a powerful offensive tool cannot be understated. While you've got to be patient and intelligent with your drone usage to find success, he is one of the most rewarding legends in the game if you enjoy this playstyle. And guys, if you have not given Crypto a go, I seriously recommend it. I played him first when he came out and I absolutely fell in love. As for Loba, she is the queen of loot. She really wants to be using her black market on cooldown to help her team stay looted as possible throughout the game. Knowing the range of this ability and finding good locations to use it to maximize loot is a really cool learning curve. And you will almost always be more looted than a team without a Loba. While you can use her jump drive bracelet to maneuver the map or find new angles in a fight, her true value comes before any fight ever starts. So let's talk about the few last tactical picks that you should try out. Seer, Fuse, and Mirage. Seer has a ton of information he can gather with his team, having a direction scan, his ultimate that reveals running enemies, and his heartbeat sensor. He's very similar to Bloodhound, but more interactive and requires a bit more patience. He is just as good at pushing a team as he is revealing an enemy push, which makes him great for playing ring position as he's incredibly flexible. Fuse, unlike Seer, is all about dealing damage from afar. He really doesn't want to be up in enemies' faces. He would much rather take medium to long range fights where he has plenty of time to launch his abilities at his enemies. This being said, he can be great at rooting enemies out of buildings, which makes him a great pick to help your team take over a position that you need or defend ones you have. And Mirage. Well, he's a bit of a trickster. While he doesn't really offer any utility, he can play a wide variety of playstyles. Where he really excels is by distracting enemies while your team gets advantages, and then staying alive long enough to sneak revives or finish people off. While he doesn't really have a standard playstyle, he causes mayhem and if you have good mechanics, you can bring a whole lot of value to your team with this pick. So guys, these categories of the legends are not the only way they can be played. These are just general understandings of where every pick finds success in the game. Hopefully by breaking down the options you have for your main like this, I've made the choice a lot easier for you. But the only way to truly make that decision is to try them out yourself. Use this video as a guide to the legends that you should check out first based on your playstyle and let me know in the comments below who you're looking to play. As always guys, my name's Valued and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.